Front towards Gamer. This is Shanghai Six. Last day of the last day of the event here. I'm here with Kelly Miller, senior product manager. How are you doing this morning? Hi, I'm good, thanks. You holding up all right? Yeah, my voice is going, but I'm doing good. Okay, well, here, we're here with Mafia Two, uh, Mafia One. Like four or five years ago, where you guys been? So, well, we've been developing Mafia 2, and uh, it, it's first game was set in the 20s and 30s, and this one's set in the 40s and 50s, so you'll see a new story, new characters, but we really wanted to, you know, bring back that classic gangster story um, in a new period and bring some new gameplay elements to it. So they've been busy building a new engine from the ground up. Um, so that we're simultaneously developing on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. So that's kind of a difference from the first one. Is, you know, we're developing them all simultaneously at the same time. And the time setting is different. So this one is set in the 40s and the 50s. And you really get a, a sense of the period through you know, all the different elements in the environment, the architecture, the ads, the music, all of that really brings you into the time period. Okay, great. Uh, what, are, what are some of the major like gameplay differences between right. 1 and 2? Okay, so Mafia 2, the, with the new engine, the, um, there's a lot of gunplay and driving and melee are kind of the, the three action you know, gameplay types in the game. And the combat system, or the gunplay system, is great. Uh, you really have to use cover a lot in it, and uh, so it's kind of a difference. You can't just like you know, bang your way through a gunfight, you really have to use cover to get through it, so it's really fun. And uh, the driving system, the police are really incorporated into the whole driving in the game. So, you know, if you steal a car, or you're speeding, or anything like that, the police are going to come after you. Uh, okay, so that that cuts down on the jackassery, people with shotguns just running around blowing people's heads yeah, off? Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't want them after you. And if you're making a big scene, they're going to come after you. So, you know, you can find different ways to evade them. You can steal a new car that they don't see. You can paint your car, change your license plate, put on new clothes. So there's some things you can do to evade the police, but the idea is, you know, you're the mafia, you don't want the police coming after you. Right on, that makes sense. Now, one of the major uh, major angles you guys are pushing for Mafia 2 is the whole 2K Playboy angle. Can you just talk about that real quick? Well, yeah, so we have a partnership with Playboy. It just seemed to make a lot of sense uh, when we were, you know, thinking about what represents this era. Playboy started in the 50s, and we just thought, if this is the kind of magazine these guys would read, you know, Vito and Joe, they're... You know, they're kind of after the good life, and it's kind of the gentleman's guide to what to drink, what to wear, you know, how to pick up the ladies. Right. So it seemed to make a lot of sense. We didn't just want to throw it in there to have it in there. But, you know, they'll, you'll see them, like, lying on the nightstand, or they're hidden around the game in different areas. So you can go, and there's actually 50 vintage covers from the actual, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> from the actual magazine are hidden throughout the game. So it's been really incorporated in a way that makes sense and brings kind of this authentic feel to the game. Very nice. Now that's like a collectible, something you can get trophies for and things? Well, it's collectible. We haven't really talked too much about how it'll be incorporated besides that. Okay. Well, you were talking about Joe and Vito. Can you go into the storyline real quick? Like, what are we what are we looking at? How is this different from the first? Yeah, so Mafia 2 is a totally new story. It's about Joe, Vito is the main character you play and his buddy Joe, and they kind of go on their escapades together. So if, if you want to wait till this trailer is over, it gets a lot better. It's kind of loud right now. We're going to go ahead. How's your voice holding up? It's okay. <laughs> gonna go. Oh, Spec Ops. You're so loud. War never changes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and pick it up. Anyway, so anyway, storyline. Joe and Vito. Vito's back again. So let's, how has how's Vito changed? So Vito's actually a totally new character. He wasn't in the original game. So Mafia 2 has a totally new storyline. But, <clears throat> excuse me, it follows the story of Vito is the main character you play and his buddy Joe and their escapades kind of working their way up through the Mafia. They're kind of the poor Italian immigrants who came to the U.S., you know, lived in a poor neighborhood and saw these Mafia guys as like the ones who had the money, who had the clothes, who had the women, who had the cars and kind of saw it as their way out of this life of poverty that right, they were right. in. All right, well, the big question, when does it come out? So Mafia 2 will come out on August 24th, and it'll be simultaneously released on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Windows PC. Oh, nice, you're not doing the PC six months later thing. That's no, very no, nice. All together on the same outstanding, day. outstanding. Yeah. All right, well, we're wrapping up. This is Callie Miller, Senior Product Manager for 2K Games. Shanghai 6. Front towards Gamer.